Hi, my name is Ben van Dijk and I'm from Smart Jungle Home Automation. Today I'm going to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to set up one of our smart plugs. Firstly, we need a power source. Secondly, we need the smart plug. And thirdly, we need something to automate. Today I'm going to use a bed lamp. I want to set up the device to have a timer to turn on the bed lamp every day at the same time and turn it off at the same time. So we plug in our device and immediately you'll see the light flashing. That means it's in learning mode. We'll plug in our device we want to automate and now I'll demonstrate inside the app how to set it up. If you have done so already, your first step would be to download and install the Broadlink after you've done that, simply open up the app. On the home screen, you'll see a little plus in the top right corner. Click that and click on Add Device. The app is busy scanning and looking for the device. It asks you to confirm that the LED on, on the smart plug is flashing. You click Next. You enter your Wi Fi details. Firstly, your Wi-Fi network name and password, and you say connect to Wi-Fi. At the moment, the app is busy sending the configuration to the plug, and the plug is busy connecting to the Wi-Fi. At this point, you'll also notice that the light on the plug stopped flashing. At this point, you're going to select which device you want to set up, in some cases you might have more than one listed here um, at the moment we only have this one plug we're setting up so we're selecting it and next step we're going to choose in which room we want this device to be i'm going to choose my bedroom and give a name to the device i'm simply going to call it lamp and save There you have it. The device is added to our app and we're ready to control it. Simply click use device now. As you can see on the screen there's three buttons at the bottom. Switch. When you press this it will simply switch on the device and you'll notice the background turns green. You can switch it off also by just pressing the same button again. You can also set up timers for the device. I'll click on timer. I'll add a new timer. Let's say I want to turn this light on every day at half past eight. I'm going to select the time. I'm going to select which days I want to do it. I'm going to select every day. And the action. I want to turn it on. And confirm and save. I want to add a timer to turn it off also. Um, I'm going to select 11 o'clock every day and my action will be turn it off confirm and save i can also set up a delay that means if i wanted to turn on or off after a certain time has lapsed so i click on delay there's a whole bunch of preset options and you can also customize it um, let's say i want it to turn on in five minutes simply press five minutes and there you'll see on the screen, turn on switch five minutes later. As simple as that. So we can go one step further and add voice control to it. I've added mine to Google Home. Simply say, hey Google, turn on bedroom lamp. Sure, turning the lamp on. There you have it. Or, hey Google, turn off bedroom lamp. 